Sigurd Jarl, back where you belong. Oh, I missed you, my brother. Yeah, you missed me? Yeah. Once or twice, I hear. What? You took your time to find me. Was it for this? To enjoy your time on my throne? I did only what you asked of me. And you slew all those who questioned you. That is not what happened. Ranvi, Ranvi will tell you. Oh yeah, we'll see. My dear wife, brought to me as a gift by her clan to pacify my ambition. Yes, I'm sure she will be the one to tell me the truth. What did that witch Fulke do to you? You cannot even begin to imagine the things I've seen, what I've learned. Born of gods is who I am. A lord of war. A Roman Mars! I know who I am! I know my destiny! And you will not hinder me! Brother, forgive me. I am faint. Tired of the day and all that has passed. I need air. He's been this way since his return. Could you speak with him? Settle his mind? I can try. Stand with cheer, one and all! Today is a day oh. of celebration! Our Jarl is with us! Tonight, let us drink and eat in honor of his return. And now, I will delight you with a where's Sigurd gone? A new composition. Survey the area, Sudan. There you are, brother. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Sigurd. Dark died defending my honor? So he claimed. But he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. It is stone solid. Unblemished. I offered him a way out, but... Shh. Say nothing more of the past. It is gone. There is a rift as deep as death between then and now. I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And in my agony, I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. My mind is a wellspring of prophecies, visions that tell me who I truly am. And for all that, I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd. I want to understand, but all this, all you say, makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. I... I don't know what that means. Look. 
This is the face of a god. I see only my brother and my truest friend returned to where he is loved and cherished, where he's meant to be. You are kind, but your eyes are clouded by the past, a place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. Go. I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name. Message has come. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Let's tell her the good news. What happened yesterday? You and Sigurd disappeared during the feast, and when he returned he went straight to our room without a word. We talked for a time. I asked many questions but got few answers. I wish I could say more. Sigurd wants to blame me for every mishap that has befallen him, but gives me no credit for his rescue. I don't understand. Yet he does speak with you. With me, he has gone totally silent. So, what now? This is for Sussex. We burned it to the ground to save one man, yet he is barely the man we were searching for. Quite so. I want to see the Alliance map. Hytham received a message from Winchester, from someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Your hidden ally. Very interesting. More targets, I assume. Yes. So what do you think? Could it be a trap? As a West Saxon stronghold, Winchester will be a rather unwelcome place for you. But that is nothing you cannot handle. If you go, do not go boldly. I will make my way to Winchester. The letter asked me to meet a man in white at a house of God, and then recite this phrase. When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly cometh wisdom. A passage from their holy book, I believe. Interesting. Go with care.
the seat of King Alfred's power, where hawk shit stains my boots. Cast about this land, my friend. I will find the man in white in their god's house. This must be the house of their timid god. They built him a rich dwelling. Dane treads the cobbles of God's house. In search of Christ's redemption, I hope. Your Christ can wait his turn. It is you I've come to see. Is that so? When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. You know these words, and you know why I speak them. I do. But I am not yet satisfied that you are the one for the task ahead. As Jesus said unto Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. Only then will you cometh unto my Lord. Why deny the pleadings of an unwashed pagan who aches to know God? Take me as I am, and I will do your Lord's bidding. How great is the burden of learning for one so unworthy. But I see that no amount of instruction in the Lord's words will save your soul. Come. Who am I to meet, priest? I cannot stand waiting in silence. Shh. Even a fool. When he keeps silent, is considered wise. Yet men become wise by speaking with other men. They grow foolish when keeping to silence. Hush! Your prattling offends God's ears. We're here! May Christ, whose terror scares away the foul throngs, make with me... A strong covenant. Was God's lesson instructive? Do all the priests in Winchester have this same skill for drama? You risk your life, Alfred King. I have invited you here to speak on equal terms. Do the Dane laws of hospitality not apply in Wessex? You gifted my Jarl to that wealth from the Order of Ancients, the warrior Fulke. Fulke was an enemy of Wessex. But it seems someone has already removed her threat from my lands. If you did not hear it was me, you have now. Impressive. 
The Order of Ancients has surely been crippled by her loss. How much do you know of this Order? Only this, and little more. This letter, signed by one who calls himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ, warns of a plot against my life. The Gallows, the Quill, the Sikhs. Three men eager to kill you. Two now. The Bishop Aelferth is dead. He was the Sikhs, so far as I can tell. And a humble servant of your guard. That must sting. Still, his death has strengthened Christian fellowship in Winchester. I pray the deaths of his colleagues will do the same. You have faced warriors like me many times before, and many times you have lost or been cheated. Why trust me now? I have men in London and Jorvik. Men who send me reports on the rise and fall of the tides of war. Not long ago, men and women of some influence were murdered in those places. In oddly specific circumstances. When I received this letter from our poor fellow soldier, it did not take long to work out why. I don't know your motive, nor what you hope to gain. All I ask is that you finish the work you have begun, before these fallen souls infest England further. I should let the Order kill you. It would speed our conquest of England. You may remove the organs of state. The cancer will remain. Then promise me a reward I can sing about, a healthy king's weight in silver. Very well. As much as you can carry. This morning, my Reeve, Goodwin, was not at his post. A man you trust. Goodwin was following the clues given in this letter when he disappeared. Where was he last? By the West Gate. You may find something there. Eivor. Compose yourself while you are my guest. My city is not a battlefield. Not yet, great king, but the day will come. I need to find this Reeve Goodwin. sniffing around. Papers thrown in the fire. Goodwin covering his tracks, while the guards destroying evidence.
Broken bowls, food scattered. They took him by force. There must be a garrison in the city. A violent struggle with the guards. They must have taken him to Winchester's garrison. They will attack on sight here. of our trail. Hold on. Look soon in there. Thick walls and thicker guards. A place to keep them. Pick up our trail. Hold on. and thicker guards. A place to keep a valuable man. The other side must be barred. Selwyn ordered executions for petty theft and mudslinging. A husband and wife to be carried out soon.
Dane in Winchester. These are strange times. King Alfred sent me, pleading from his bended knee to find someone. I know Alfred well enough to spot a bloody lie when I hear it. If he did send you, he was standing tall and proud. That he was, and you are the man I've come to find, Goodwin. Do you know why? If I had one guess, to find these heretics from the Order of Ancients, and bury them so deep, even God would need a shovel. So where do we start digging? My research should help us. If they haven't burned it already, it'll be somewhere nearby. I will find your research. Now go before they find their wolf has fled his cage. Let's regroup beyond the walls! Goodwin's research against the Order of Ancients. I am grateful for your help. It is a brazen move to arrest Alfred's favorite Reeve. This so-called order are nothing but deviled shit peddlers. Shit peddlers who have wormed their way into every crevasse of your country. They are dangerous. I didn't catch your name, did I? Eivor, of the Raven Clan. Scourge of Mercia, if that name does not rattle some recognition. Well, Eivor, when our three heretics smolder on a heap of ash, we'll down a cup of ale together and share our distaste of Mercians like old friends. One calls himself the Quill. Our words his weapons. There were rumors of letters nailed up around Winchester. It may be that one of these can tell us more. Alfred believes at least one is dead. Your bishop, Aelfirth, was the six. Bugger. Half of Winchester is in mourning for that nun-groper. The Gallows. What do you know of him? Must be another Reeve, I'm sure of it. Only we have the power to mete out justice. And this one would walk with cocksure righteousness. The Gallows had you arrested, so he must command the law. Reeve Selwyn? Of course! That hedge pig has brought down laws like a hammer on Winchester, executing sinners on spurious charges in the square. Could it be another? He's the man. He's the only one who fits. End his terror, Eivor.
Doti from Urenbrock. Stupid Wallace. Two face the Nienunga. For dangers of Delphia. Doti from Vito Wilmum! Is the city here but freaked? God, they see the boot chair! Who'd only send the chair? Good people of Winchester, open your eyes! See how Alfred's lofty ideals are weighed down in this mire of human effluence! These prisoners before you do not live by Alfred's laws! They live above them! They wallow in shit! Only guided by their own perversity! Hubert here, his wits addled by ale, spoke false of Bishop Aylforth, our pious servant of Winchester, who even now lies cold in his grave shroud. Aylforth was no man of God! He'll burn for his sins! Your wife is obeying shrew, Hubert. Is there a man here who has not supped rancid mead from her cup? When will your work be done, Selwyn? When all of Winchester falls to your justice? Winchester has passed judgment, Hubert. May God have mercy on your cankerous soul. There are rats in the grain store, and Alfred has set the traps. You cannot steal and be welcome at our hearts. Take up our trail. Hold on. Protect your Who dares to defy Alfred's laws? The degenerates must be You are the enemy of Winchester. Perverter of justice, who dares execute the king's noose? It is not in Alfred's name that you carry out your work. You are the Order's executioner. <laughs> you peer through the veil, but you do not see clearly. Alfred's laws are a slave's fever dream. He offers shit-soaked beggars a seat at his table where the meek devour the strong. Who best to judge the fate of the wretched many, if not the strong and worthy few? To protect your people, you must sheathe your hand in an iron glove. You grind your heels into the backs of freedmen, not those who deserve it. The Order condemns all men to pain. For all men are but a shadow of the perfection we should know. The perfection of the Ancient Ones. You are only a man, Reed. One dead branch on a fast-dying tree. <laughs> Hold 
on. I should meet with Goodwin, see what he has found on the quill. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Does Magister Batter not teach you the scriptures? Magister Batter is a horse's dangles. And here is the axe I used to swat a fly. You have ventured from your burrow. And you have plunged my city into chaos. I had hoped you would use the lessons of your subtler gods. We have no subtle gods. If the gallows is truly dead, perhaps we can allow cautious revelry? It may be I should take my Dane Guild now, leave you to the snakes that remain. Forgive my outburst. God sowed in me a passion, but English prose is an instrument long out of tune. We all want better for our people, don't we, Eivor? Yours and ours. The quill remains. What do we know? The decay of learning has been gentle in Wessex. We enjoy the office of wise men, but we have neglected the study of wisdom. The quill preys on this lapse. Someone disagrees with your reforms, Alfred, and he is calling the children to arms. Now we know why so many children scurry through the streets, feral and untutored. I can talk to some, see where they lead me. Good. Find me at the alehouse when you're done, and try not to scare the piss from any of them. We Norse are the monsters of your Saxon mother's bedtime tales. I promise nothing. I see you, child. Come. The bad Reeve, Selwyn. I saw you punish him in the square. He hurt many people. Yes. He hurt my mother to death. Then took her good luck charm. Perhaps you found it? A little carved tree. It is all I have to remember her by. Such a sad story. Take this. Perhaps it will keep you off the streets and out of trouble. For me? Oh, thank you. Spry, little mouse. Will you lead me to your quill? <laughs> 